I have developed these seven steps process for anthropometric design. Some people call this workstation design. If you read ergonomics book, most of them call it workstation design. However, this is basically anthropometric design. You can call workstation design whatever you prefer. Now, design for reach. So, step number one is to figure out whether you are trying to design to reach something. For example, a fire extinguisher. Um, are you trying to reach a um, fire extinguisher? In that case, you try to make sure that the smallest person can reach it. Now, design for feet is think about you're trying to feed the largest person so think about you're trying to design a door so you have to make sure that largest person can get in if the largest person can get in then the smallest person will be able to do that now design for 50 50 percentile this one is usually for uh, not for reach or not for feet you try to accommodate the maximum number of people possible now in all of this situation you try to accommodate the maximum design for reach if the smallest person can reach a tallest person or largest person can reach too if you can feed the largest person in the world you can basically feed everybody now so all of these cases you are actually trying to feed the more number of people possible now think about a grocery store cash register where uh, they are trying to you know make sure that more people can use it now classroom desk for example oh I don't know why I'm getting these balls yellow balls no clue so classroom desk or my office desk which is not non adjustable so in that kind of situation you take the average of 50 percentile male and 50 percentile female so once you figure out what type of design is it is it designed for a reach or design for feet or design for 50 50 percentile after that you're trying to figure out the body dimension appropriate for that particular design for example door height then you use the stutter height now this word looks like some of my students really didn't have any clue what that word means that means they're not probably used anymore this thing is called standing dimension you have never got these balls it's just coming up i don't know why dimensions i hope the spelling is correct so standing dimension cdc center for disease control they have start started to use that um, standing dimension rather than a stutter however if you're watching this video you're probably into ergonomics so uh, make sure you know that the standing height is called stretcher anyway so if you're designing a door height then stretcher height um, is the appropriate dimension and then you're trying to think of which user population is it male stretcher height or female stretcher height first of all if it's a door height example then you're trying to feed the largest person the tallest person in the world so then uh, stretcher height is the most appropriate one and then you try to make sure the largest male get into that door then the female will also be um, okay they will also can get in I will not hit their head in the top of the door the next thing is you try to make sure which percentile you going to fit is it 99 percentile typically if it's not a safety issue you stay with either for fitting 95th percentile or reaching fifth percentile so fit typically 95th percentile and then reach typically 5th percentile the smallest person if it's a safety issue if you have a situation where somebody can hit their head in the door height and then they can get injured then you always go for 99 percentile you cannot have 100 percentile so you figure out which percentile to use and then you check the anthropometric tables to find that appropriate value stretch a right for a height for example so US male stutter height is 69.5 inches. Now you have to be careful on the anthropometric data. So most textbook has the data that was collected in 1988 from US Army. So now this one is from the recent Center for Disease Control data 
most recent one now if you look check this one this one is something like 68.5 so in this 30 years people kind of grow one inches so anyway we can talk about that in later video um, so the process of anthropometric design once you figure out uh, what's the percentile and then you try to extract the value from the table for that particular percentile if it's not available I'll show you in another video how to convert uh, the percentile to something that you want and then you have to also think about the clothing adjustment for example somebody's wearing shoes and uh, maybe someone is wearing a I don't know why this is coming like that uh, shoes maybe the link on hat which is about six inches tall uh, shoes heel height male population about one inch so you have to consider that and then you add all of them up so that will give you the final dimension for the door height in the next few example i will show you how to convert dimension in a particular for the particular value in excel i'll also give you some example like door heights seat height things like that 